We are officially playing American Farming. I have waited three years for this day. We've been building this game for three years, and today is launch day. Let's get into it. Now, I already have a second save set up, ready to go. So I'm gonna start a brand new save just to get an idea, and then I'm gonna go through different equipment, different farms, like all that. So first things first, we get a farm we get to choose, either Pine Valley or Cedar Creek. You got the pigs over here. So this basically just allows you to choose through photos of the farm. And it just gives you an idea of what the farm's gonna lay out. Like, if you don't want it, then you can go over and click on Pine Valley. Character customization, here we go. Now I have some of the DLC already unlocked. Most of these items are free, but there's a couple items, like cool special items that are DLC. I have it all unlocked already. So I'm gonna just choose, ah, did we go crazy? Now let's go farmer style. We're gonna go, this is a standard item. We're gonna go the squad built shirt on here. And then mustache, we'll go, I like the handlebar mustache. We're going handlebar mustache. I like that face. You have a couple different face options you can choose. You got skin color options. We're gonna go that face. Yeah, we'll go these. Hair options. We could go a mullet across here. I don't know if that's best. <laughs> this is insane, guys. Ah, man. I just, I'm thinking about this, like how much work had to go into building the character customization. We're gonna go mullet style. Although when I put a hat on, the hat gets rid of the, uh, there's no way you can have long hair with, you know, a hat like this. Uh, this is my one of my favorite caps. It's an 80s Wallinga hat. We're going to wear that. Boots, we're going to go cowboy boots. And then pants, we got a bunch of different options that we can go with. These are some of my favorite jeans. They got like a belt buckle. You can't see it because of the shirt right now. But yes, this is what we're going to go with. This is my favorite farmer outfit. We're going to save tutorials. Okay, farrowing pen. Cells will produce piglets here. Piglets will turn into wiener pigs. This you have to understand and you have to know. Um, this helps a lot, like these tutorials. Definitely look through them. So just for example, you'll get, right here, you'll get piglets out of the farrowing pen. Once piglets grow up, they'll turn into wieners. At the stage when they're wieners, you gotta take the animal trailer and move those wiener pigs over to the hog barn here and feed them out and then take them to market. So make sure you read this stuff. Planting, already had a secondary tillage pass. Ready for planting. Harvesting, that's ready for harvesting. Now the pig farm's the only farm that has a combine. The cattle farm, has a forage harvester, a chopper, to make cattle feed over there. Okay, rain sight. So co-op, this is where we get anhydrous, P and K, urea. Is there one more thing? You get seed here, so you get it pretty much all right there. Or sorry, I should say co-op fill point right there. Dealership and livestock market. Hints, if we get stuck, check out the help menu. Of course, the help menu, definitely read through this. If you want to play the game to the best of the ability, read through the help menu. For example, you got all your yield bonuses here, tillage, no-till, your nitrogen, P and K. Read through this if you're trying to pull some high yields off because it's super important. And I do need to say this, I am the owner of Squad Built Inc., which is the creator of this game. So by supporting the game, by purchasing it, and by buying DLC, you're supporting Squad Built Inc., which is directly supporting me. So I'm in direct affiliation. And also, if you guys need any help of any kind or support, I recommend joining the Discord server. There's a link down below to the official American Farming Discord server. Question is, guys, we got a dog. And this dog can do some pretty cool stuff. It can ride in trucks, can ride in tractors, can ride in cars. Certain tractors, I should say. Um, but what do I name the dog? Put it down below what I named the dog. Got to think of something. Okay, first things first, guys. The map. This map is ginormous across here compared to other games. Like, it is insane. I think there's like 35 or 36 different fields. And if you want to buy fields, you can either go to Realty and click on your fields, which takes you right to here. Or you can go, um, or you can go just to the menu and then go down to Plots over here. And you can buy your fields. But these are the two fields you get to start with. They are small. And once you get to some big fields, you can really start cranking some bushels and making some money. Because like once you get to a six, this is our biggest field, 61 acres. You can really start making a lot of money off 61 acres. Versus like other mobile games have like two acre fields, one acre fields and stuff. And so you, as you scale up, just like in real life, you really start making some money. I'm going to get started harvesting some corn. Of course, we got the dog in here, which I got to think of a good name. Let me know a good name. And I'm going to get this started here. Okay, so we're going to get that going on corn. I need to go get um, some sows. So they have piglets. And I'll probably go buy some wiener pigs also that will feed out in the hog barn here. It does have first person. You do have first person. But I like third person better. Like, I like... 
How can you not like third person better with the dance moves? I think there's like 10 different dance moves here. This is just insane. A little fun. Okay. Plan her. We're going to unfold her and drop her down. Now, if you get that message, it isn't... This already had secondary tillage. Right here, right on the edge, there's like a little primary tillage thing where the message will appear. And that's just to let people know if there is a primary tillage field that you can't plant in a primary tillage field. And so that's a system we that was just added at the end there. I'm going to get the AI worker going, hop out, and let the AI worker do its thing there. So we can hop in the truck, and there's the farm OM. I will need that. Combine's going. Now this map is, like I said, it's ginormous. It's got benefits and cons. The, the, the plus is, there's five different farmsteads over here. The cons are, it takes a while to drive across the map, which is good. <laughs> Getting some air with the pickup. The physics are unreal in this game. Uh, you, I'll show you guys some of the tractors, but the physics are absolutely insane. Now, like, here's an American farmstead. Everything based around this game is all Americanized. That is our goal. We want this to be a true Midwest, like, American game. It's got three different bins over there, and then it's got a dryer. So you got to dry your corn, too, if you want to get the best price. And then here's one of the co-ops. There's two different co-ops where you can sell and buy all your inputs, so like your seed, your fertilizer. That's one of them. And then there's a giant town over there. Okay, so I'm going to go to the buy place, the animal dealer. We are going to buy four sows, just four sows, because that's all you can fit in that farrowing pen. There we go. We're going to purchase four sows. And then I'm actually going to go purchase... Some wiener pigs right here. Purchase 22. We'll load this wagon full. And of course, you do have a first person camera on the trucks, which is pretty nice. You can see all around you. You can see my buddy. I don't know what to call him yet. You guys let me know in the back. He's just resting. And then you can see farmhand Noah driving to row entry. Okay, Dorothy. Storage is full. Son of a gun. We got to hop back there. Okay, one sec. I'm going to jump in the farm LM. Yeah, we got the 1206 on the disc right there, but I'm just going to use the farm LM for now. Okay. We'll hop in the farm OM quick, take the Kill Bros wagon, and Dorothy should be. Okay, Dorothy, Grant is here for the rescue. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there quick, let Dorothy unload. And then just like all mobile games, if you do want to buy money, there's money available. Like, I'll cheat in money all the time and buy money with this so that's how if you want to like cheat and just start really big you can it's pretty simple you just cheat in some money and you start giant with giant equipment pretty much okay so first things first we're gonna drop off our sows here at the farrowing barn and the sows are the mama pigs and they will produce piglets and it actually works out pretty darn good with the way this is set up so we're gonna unload these four sows i got in here and i'm gonna quick just drive on over to the uh, hog barn over here and unload the wieners and the wieners we just got to feed corn to let them grow out unload all there we go in the barn we got all the wieners okay perfect so these guys need food so what you can do is you can drop corn and beans right here and it'll unload feed into these feeding bins right here it works pretty darn slick so all i do pull up here and unload corn the number one thing with ai guys is to be patient um be patient with it and let's do it yeah there it goes it's starting rows let it do its thing basically there's so much more i want to show off in these two starter farms but we got to keep moving on because i need to show you guys all the sheds and all the equipment and stuff like that so we're going to go to one of my other save games real quick okay this is the other one i got going i did cheat in money to get here so i have a bunch of really nice equipment across here I'm gonna change my outfit just real quick. We're gonna go crazy with this. And if you buy clothing, it unlocks it for all your saves. So like if you buy clothing once across all your saves, you'll have it, you'll have it unlocked. We're gonna go American outfit and we're gonna go cowboy boots. We're gonna go full on beard. We're gonna go these sunglasses. We're gonna go mullet, like yellow goldish hair. Heck yes. Okay, a little chaotic, but that's what I like. Okay, so. For equipment, you guys have been wondering and asking about this. So here's all of the equipment across here. Now the main tractor brands are Case and Versatile. For four-wheel drives, there's a bunch of four-wheel drives. We got the Delta Track, of course, across here. We got the four-wheel drive. We got the Case Quad Track across here with a bunch of different models. And then we got the old 9370, 9380, the original Case Quad Track. We got a Row Crop Steiger, 
We got a case road track, got a case magnum, and check out these customizations. You can go 340, 380, rear singles, 480, and then you can get a, like a 520 tire, and then you can go front duels, 480, and you can go like a 520, like a thick rear tire on there, which is pretty cool. And then, this is probably one of my favorite tractors, the Case MX series. I love the sound of this tractor too. You got all your tire options across there. Um, 1086, your Case Puma, your 1066 wide front, 1066 narrow front, 1206, little Farmall 75A in here and a Farmall M in here. And I am I can only guess that if the game becomes more popular and more people buy it, that there will be more and more tractor brands coming in, just depending on how the game does. It's not confirmation by anything. I'm, I'm just saying. Gonna be Harvester Combines. There's two different combines. And then for corn heads, there's an 8, 12, and you get a 16 row corn head across there. And then planters, you have the biggest planter, a 36 row, the 1265 planter, and this can cover some acres. And then you got a 955 12 row planter. Then you got a land all seed drill across here. You got a case IH drill. Tillage equipment is covered pretty good. Got a big land all disc ripper, a 13 shank on 30 inch spacing, which is a beast of a ripper. And then you got a case. 875 which is a heck of a ripper it's 11 shank so it's a little smaller and then you got the old dmi five shank ripper this is probably what i could have in real life because my tractor cannot handle that secondary tillage got a 50 foot 96 50 um got a vertical till got a high speed disc across here got a field cultivator got an old case international ih 490 disc fertilizer applicators okay there's there's just a lot to go through here got a case patriot with rear duels or you can go front duels yeah there's a lot of options here probably some of the more neater ones we have in hydrus so you got a blue jet a 47 foot you can run or you can run a 62 foot in hydrus bar you got the under for nutrimax which this applies liquid nitrogen so you can get it in like red or green and then you got you can get tracks on it too which is pretty sweet now this is whatever you want to call it liquid manure pig manure hog manure but this is the Bolter 7650, which is a um, which will apply hog manure, and that will fill your P and K in nitrogen uh, for that field. So it does it all in one. It is, and I think it does a tillage pass too with it. They got a Meyer fertilizer spreader, got H and S fertilizer spreader, got a fertilizer wagon. This this is probably a very efficient tool. It can cover a lot of acres pretty fast. Spread P and K and then urea, and then you got your NH three tanks here. And this is a feature I've wanted in a farming game for so long, having an hydrus. Got your 2850, you got your avalanche tracked, got your avalanche wheeled, got your Brent gravity wagon. So you got 657, 757, all different colors across here. Kilbro's wagon, you got your semi-trailer, livestock, got a bunch of gooseneck trailers, livestock trailers. Um, you got a semi-feed tanker. So this can actually do pig feed. The Wallinga can do pig feed and then it can do cattle feed too. And you can buy your, your feed at the co-op. Like you pull through there and then you can buy your feed. Um, if you just, if you don't want to like get your own feed, you can just buy it. Trailers, got a bunch of Max D trailers that work good for hauling equipment and you can haul bales with those. This can actually haul equipment, land all. Okay. And then, oh my gosh, there's so much to cover in this game. You got dirt bikes. <laughs> you got the squad built dirt bike. Oh man, I'm going to buy this thing. I'm gonna buy this. You got a utility ATV, which can pull trailers around. You got a race ATV, and you got a three-wheeler. Did I cover most of the stuff? I think I covered most of it in the dealership. And I got my cows bought, but they don't have feed right now. So these guys need feed before they start having calves here. So they need some feed pretty badly. They'll have calves. And then here, here we got our yearlings. So how this works is you have your cows you buy, they produce calves and your calves will grow up to a yearling and then you take your yearling and transfer it over here to feed out your yearling and then eventually turn it into a steer where you sell your steer off so it's pretty complex but it's, it's pretty cool once you figure figure out how the, the actual livestock systems work and then this has like five or six different bins and then it's got a dryer also oh, there there is just so much to show in this game guys that i this video is going to be like two hours long if I show it off. And you got, dude, check check out these trucks, guys. Check out, listen to that sound. I love the sound of these trucks. Now, I am going to go home quick, and we're going to throw a helmet on just for safety. I think, let's see, let's go to hats. Okay, helmet. 
we'll go the white helmet there we go even though that looks okay now we we got if we're gonna do this we're gonna throw the full outfit on and eh, we need the white one there we go perfect i'm gonna quick drive around and show you guys all the farmsteads just real quick to kind of show off everything by the way these ditches you can hit them and jump pretty darn good in them let's see if i can uh hit a backflip oh okay okay so uh okay yeah let's just stop right here for a sec right here purchase this we call it farm number one this is just one of the bigger grain farms it's got a bunch of giant machine sheds here yeah you can store a bunch of your equipment in here and then it's got the bin site it's got the bin site in the back of it we're just going to take the ditch on down backflip backflip off the across the creek of course and then wheelie on the road <laughs> This is the off-road pack, guys. If you want it, you can, uh, it's a little extra, but if you guys don't want this, I, I get some people just want to farm. If you don't want it, you don't have to buy this. I just like ripping around on it. And then there's the farmstead we just, we just like that all my equipment's on. And then that's a field we just planted actually. Oh shoot, I can't make the turn that fast when I'm doing a wheelie. Still wants to hold the wheelie. And then here's like the second town with the co-op. So that's one of the places you can sell your grain to. Now over here, this is the hog farm that we were just harvesting on my other save. So then you guys seen that one already. And then this is the dairy farm actually across here. So dairy's a pretty darn cool option too. Got the dairy farm, got the bins for that. Biggest thing, if you guys are like having trouble, because this is pretty darn complex. Like if you're on cattle and you're trying to figure out how cattle work, go to the help menu and then click on cattle and you can see like the, the different um, stages that they go through and you'll realize like, how to move them just like swine you get your piglet then you get your wiener then you get your hog and it's ready to go and cow calf pen it like describes everything and like dairy even your dairy barn it shows okay you got your calf for zero to ten months then you got your heifer and that goes in the dairy heifer pen and then you got your cow which produces milk and dairy calves like everything is super realistic and detailed with this and that's the hog farm we were at over there you got kedrick farms logo which he was a developer on this and is project manager so um so his logos over on the dairy farm even though he says he hates livestock so we just had to annoy him by putting his logo over on the dairy farm and then you got some hog buildings over there you got a pretty big hog building over here uh which you can feed out and then you can take you can take uh, hog manure from it and then apply it across your fields and then this is the cattle starter farm so this is the other starter farm that if you choose cattle you start on this farm so it's got your cow calf um, set up over here where you put your cows and then over here it's got the pasture which like provides some of the feed where you can put your yearlings you only put yearlings in here and then they'll grow up into steers over in this pasture and then you can feed them out still which is pretty darn cool okay and then if your crops are like planned and you're ready for them to grow you can just run the time times 100x and then they'll grow pretty darn quick so they're ready to harvest okay we're gonna we're gonna switch back to the farmer outfit real quick farmer what do we want what do we want i'm gonna go i love this cutoff style and then the hat yeah we'll go with this brown stocking cap oh yeah heck yeah there we go okay i'm gonna drop this semi in here real quick and then we're gonna go grab the delta track and i'm gonna start putting on anhydrous for another field of corn over here so we can at least get planned that field of corn actually i gotta buy the field still it's um i want to do this big field right here yeah, let's do this field. It's kind of a more smaller and narrow field. The best thing about this game, guys, is once it hits nighttime, you can see perfectly still. It's not like annoying to play at night. And uh, like, that's what I love most about it. There's no lights and tractors, but you don't need lights because you can still see pretty darn good when it comes to nighttime. And since we're on times 100 speed, nighttime already passed. So we're in the Delta track. I'm going to go a quick disconnect this fuel cultivator, put it over here. Now with tillage, you get... Let's see, let's go tillage. When it comes to tillage, guys, primary tillage, so like a disc ripper, gives you plus 10%, and then secondary tillage gives you plus 5% in yield. The only thing is, if you till with a primary tillage, like a disc ripper, you have to come back and make a secondary tillage pass. You can't plant into a primary tillage pass. Um, and then no-till does dock you. Okay, for now, I'm gonna park the ripper over here. And then hook up to the anhydrous bar, the blue jet anhydrous bar. There we go. And it's got automatic hookup. So if you get close enough, it'll just automatically hook up. Now, 
if you guys want to disconnect like a second implement back here, you can't do it from the tractor. You got to get out and then walk up to it and hit disconnect and then it'll disconnect. And if you want to reconnect it, just press the button again, just so you know. Okay, before we start putting on anhydrous, check this out. I've got to have safety first. I'm going to put on the anhydrous mask. <laughs> he's got his Case IH hat backwards and then he's got an anhydrous mask for safety, of course. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take the time to just 15x so that way the time doesn't go day night super quick. And we're going to get the worker started applying anhydrous here. And we got the anhydrous rig unfolding. We'll drop her down in the ground and get applying some anhydrous. And then if you look here, you can see that there's a like a black strip and that's just the fertilizer being applied across the ground. So then we'll start an AI worker and the AI worker is going to do its thing. Now the anhydrous rig only goes six mile an hour. So it only goes first gear. It applies in first gear. And then if we look on our map, fertilized, and zoom in, you can see the little nitrogen strip being done across that field. You can see how, how far it's done. And then if it has both P and K and nitrogen, it'd be like a light blue strip across there. Basically, it's like auto steer. We can just sit here and watch the AI worker put on hydrus if we want to. We could get planted too with a 36 row planter if we really wanted to. But guys, this is crazy complex how, how much there is. I could make a, a four hour video, the first four hour video of just showing you guys the basics and like all the features of the game because there's so much more to unreveal. But for now, I think I covered a, a little bit at least for you guys. And check out live stream. I'll be making a ton more content. And we'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys want, it is on iOS and Google Play Store right now to download. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video.